Hello YouTube and welcome to another Linux tutorial. So in this video I will show you how to install the Elastix search in Linux. So are you ready? Let's get started. So Elastic Search is actually a very powerful and flexible open source distributed real-time analytics and search engine. So it provides you for actually using the full text search. So with the different APIs that it offers, you can actually perform these actions. So in this video, I will show you just how you can install it. So first thing first, you have to make sure that you have Java installed. So our issued command Java minus version. So here you can see that actually Java is installed and version is 1.8. Okay. Second, we have to make sure that also the home Java environment variable is set. So I will echo the environment variable Java home just to see if it's set or not. Okay. So here you can see that it's empty, so it's not set. So we have to set it. So first, let me check where Java is installed. So normally it's under user slash user slash lib slash GVN and here Java dash eight. Okay. So this is actually the full path of the Java directory. So in order to set the Java home environment variable, we have actually to open a file. So I will open it using any editor I like. We can use, for example, nano if you want. So we have to open this file here, etc environment. Okay. But before that, it's better to use sudo command always. Here we go. So I'll provide here my password. Here we go. So inside this actually file, we have to paste this whole line in order to set the environment Java home variables. Okay. So I'll exit that. So I will say yes. Then I will source it. in order to load the environment variables. So now let's check once again the echo command. And here we go. Now you can see that our Java home environment variable is set. So I will clear that. Now, actually before installing the Elasticsearch, we have to make sure that we have the corresponding repositories. Okay. So in order to install the official Elasticsearch apt repository, we use this command here. So here we go. Now we have also to install the corresponding GPG case. Okay. So we issue this command here to set the GPG keys. So, okay, we are done here. So now we have to set the apt Elasticsearch repository in our system. So here I will be installing Elasticsearch version 6. something. So this is the corresponding command for that. So by the way, all the commands that you see here, you will find them in the description of this video. Okay. So I will must run that as with the sudo actually command. Here 
here we go. So we have added actually the app repository. So we are done here. All we have actually to do is to run an update to the repositories here. So I will do sudo apt update. Here we go. So now we are done. So let's install actually our Elasticsearch. So the command is pretty simple apt install then Elastic search so now elastic search is being downloaded and installed so it depends on your connection here so as you can see here the size of the whole package is about 114 megabytes okay So now Elastic is being installed. So you can see the progress bar at the bottom. Okay, so now Elastic Search has been installed. Okay. So let me clear that. So if you want to actually customize Elastic Search, you have to edit a special file. So this file is actually located in etc directory elasticsearch okay and the name of the file is elasticsearch.yaml so let's open it using any editor so i'll use the default one here which is nano and don't forget to use also the sudo command in order to open it using root privileges so it's quite a big file but the most interesting thing that here we can customize is the cluster name. So here by default it's called my application. So you have to remove this DS here in order to customize the cluster name. So you can set it for example whatever you want. For example my elastic search. Okay. You can also customize the node name. So normally you have multiple nodes in a cluster, but here we have just one node. So I can leave it like that or I can rename it whatever I want. So for example, I will rename my node as Elasticsearch1. Here we go. And you can leave all the other options as it is without any problem. Okay. So this is the path to the logs for your Elasticsearch. You can also configure that. Here you can see the default port which is 9200. So if you want to change it, you can change it here if you want, or you can leave it the default. So as you wish. So I guess we are done here. So now I will exit. I will save. So now let's check if it is running. So I will use the command sudo system set l then status of my elastic search service so here you can see that actually it's not active it's inactive and dead so we can start it using the command start here we 
here we go so let's check it once again So now it's active and running, okay? So in order to test our Elasticsearch engine, there are a couple of tools, but I will use here just the very, actually basic one or the common one is to use the curl command, okay? So with the use of the curl command, we can test our search engine okay so let me first clear that so we'll be using the method get in order to test our setup so here I will use the get method and here we have to provide actually the IP address of our server so in this case it's 192.168.1.17 and of course we have to provide also the pop the port number so by default it's 9200 okay so here you see the connection is refused so let's test with the other address which is the local host now we have succeeded so as you can see we have here the options that we have configured in our elasticsearch.yaml file so you see the name of our node and the name of our cluster and cluster UUID which is universal actually identification for our server here is the version of Elasticsearch okay and the type and other things so if you get this kind of response it means that you have successfully set up your Elasticsearch engine okay so in the next videos I will use just some example to see how we can work with Elasticsearch. So that was just a brief introduction how we can set up Elasticsearch analytics and search engine on Linux. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.